mini-series, Own Your CV, brought to you by the UCT Career Service. Episode 2, Name, Contact, Profile, Education. In Episode 2, you will learn how to present your name and contact details, personal profile and education and training in a CV. Keep in mind that one size does not fit all. Let us go through each of the headings. You actually don't use name and contact details as a heading. Your CV should start with your name at the top. Use the name you're best known as, but no nicknames. You don't have to put all the names you have on your ID document, just your first name and surname. All that is then needed are details of how to get hold of you, your cell number and your email address. You can also include your LinkedIn profile address or your online portfolio, street addresses are not required. There's no need to include biographical information such as your date of birth, race, religion, marital status, health or nationality. Information like this has the potential to expose your application to discrimination and is not required on a CV. This is a summary of your experiences, involvement and achievements. This section gives you an opportunity to showcase your suitability for an opportunity in a more succinct way. Highlight your best points in relation to what you're applying for in less than four lines. These are some examples. If you're a university student or a recent graduate, start with education and training before the work experience section. This will be different if you have extensive full-time work experience. Start with what you're studying now, that is in reverse chronological order. For example, if you're doing a Bachelor of Arts in Drama at UCT in 2020, that is what you start with and not your high school details. You can decide where to put dates, either on the right or the left. The key is consistency throughout your CV. State the year you started your degree, for example, 2019 till present. Write your degree and institution in full, like Bachelor of Social Sciences in Psychology and Politics, University of Cape Town. Not BSOC Sci, Paul, and psych at UCT. You don't have to list all the courses that you've done. Keeping the reverse chronological order, state other qualifications you received up to high school. There's no need to list your school subjects. It is not necessary to include information about your primary school. You may have completed other training outside your formal curriculum. For example, an advanced Excel course at Udemy Learning Platform in 2019. You can create a subsection of education. Let's call it additional training. The same principles apply. Years on one side and start with the most recent. Thank you for tuning in to episode two of mini series, Own Your CV, brought to you by the UCT Career Service. Be sure to tune in to episode three, where we will be focusing on activities and work experience.